Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Brooklyn. Um, today we are going to do some back stretches to help with needles and how to pull your needle. So just a helpful video on needles. Just FYI, we are not doing all back stretches. I'm gonna show you the most important ones for needles and then I will be doing an updated stretching routine soon, I promise. But yeah, for this, you will need something elevated for over splits, a mat, and that's about it. All right, let's get started. All right, now that we are ready to go, we are first gonna get into our right leg split. Make sure in your split, your back knee is facing flat towards the ground, pops up to the side, it's not really stretching out. So make sure it's just completely under. We have pointed toes on each side, and let's first reach forward for our foot. Hold this here for 10 seconds. And good. Now, we are gonna have either hands by your side, hips straight, and put your head back, or you can grab your back leg. Just make sure you are not turning your chest and hips to the side. You want to keep it to the front at all times. And whatever you're comfortable with, we're going to hold this one for 15 seconds. Go ahead. To our left leg split. Let's rotate to the other side. Alright, back knee facing back towards the ground again. Hips are straight, pointed toes. Let's reach forward for our foot. Try to get your head to touch your knee. 10 seconds. To our middle split. If you can't go all the way down, make sure to start up like you're in a shuttle and slide down as far as you can. Just make sure you also go on your elbows. We're going to hold middle split for 30 seconds and go ahead. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You got it. 15 seconds left. And come down. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get into a back bend. We are first going to do rainbow. So rainbow, you're gonna have your legs straight, feet together, and you try to push your chest past your shoulders. That is personally for me the thing that stretches me out the most when I do this. So I'm gonna demonstrate first and then we will do it together. So in a back bend, I'm gonna have my legs straight, the feet together, and push the chest past my shoulders. You can lean as much as you can and go on your heels to get the right spot and then hold it there. We are going to hold this for 20 seconds. Let's do it together now. Really push the chest past the shoulders. Ready, three, two, and one. Go ahead, you got it. Feet together, legs straight, chest past the shoulders. And come down. Good. Now bring the knees to your chest really quick as a breather. And good. Now, we are going to get back up in a back bend. We are gonna have one leg up. You can do any leg you would like to first. 
One leg up. For the one that's down, you are walking hands as close to that bottom foot as possible. And you're trying to get your head to touch your butt. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. I'm going to show you what this looks like first really quick. Okay. So, I put one leg up. And I'm going to walk my hands as close to the bottom foot as possible. And put my head back. Just like that. And we're going to hold it for 10 seconds on each leg. You got it any leg you like to do first. Ready? Three, two, and one. Go ahead. One leg up. Walk hands as close to the bottom foot as possible. Try to get your head to chew up. And come down. Good. Then the leg that was just up, go ahead and lay on your back. Pull that leg towards your chest. And then you're going to put it across your body. Look the opposite way. And good. Alright. Now we're going to get back up to do the other leg. You got this. Ready? Three, two, and one. Other leg up. Walk hands as close to the bottom foot as possible. Jack your head to your butt. And come down. Good. Lay on your back again. Have that leg come up towards your chest. Pull as far as you can. Breathe. And across your body, look the opposite way. Good. Now, the last back that we're doing, we're gonna do rainbow again. So, legs straight, feet together, chest press the shoulders. Just this time, we are gonna go down onto our elbows. Once you do this, this will stretch out your upper back and your shoulders, okay? Now, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go on my elbows first, just to make sure I'm steady. Then straighten out my legs and bring them together. Then push the chest, push the shoulders, just like so. Okay, we are going to hold this one for 20 seconds. You got this, this is the last back bend. Ready? Three, two, and one. Down onto the elbows, legs straight, feet together, chest past the shoulders. And come down. Good. Now let's roll back and forth on our back about three times. And good. All right. Now this next stretch, there are three ways to do it. One, this is the easiest way. Um, you can go on your side like this, have your elbow helping you up. And you're going to pull your leg like a scale slash needle. Scales can be a little to the side. Needle, you're just going to pull it more behind you. But the goal is just try to pull it as close as you can. Okay? Now, if that doesn't stretch you out, then you can go to your stomach. And, for example, do your left leg and right arm. And pull like a needle. Or if you want more of a challenge and more advanced, try to pull it over your head. Just like so. We are going to hold it for 20 seconds on both sides. You got this, do whatever you feel comfortable with. And ready, three, two, and one. Go ahead. And now, you're going to do the other leg. So, don't mind me. This leg is not very good. 
because my hips get like they turn so be sure you are not doing that because my chest turns so much but other leg you got it 20 more seconds three two and one to over split so go ahead and get anything that is elevated and you're comfortable with using all right now let's do our over splits i will be using my couch but first let's get into our right leg over split so just want to say if you are leaning back in your splits with your arms then for this one i would have your hands by your side hips straight and put your head back or if you want to and to advance yourself you can also grab your leg in your over splits but first, let's have one hand on the ground for support. Other is going to reach for our foot. Let's so lean forward. Try to get your head to your knee. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. And good. Now, hands by your side. Hips straight and put your head back or grab your back leg. 15 seconds. Go ahead. And good. Now let's get into our left leg over split. All right, one hand on the ground, other is reaching for our foot. Try to get your head to your knee. Reach as far as you can. Ten seconds. And good. Now either hands by your side. Hip straight, put your head back, or grab your back leg. Go ahead. 15 seconds. And good. Go. Now we are going to go to a wall to do some very helpful shoulder stretches. All right, now that we are at the wall, First stretch, you're gonna face the wall. Be a foot or two away. Lift your arms straight up. Make sure it's not straight in front, it's straight up. You're gonna lean in. You're gonna to try to get your armpits touch the wall. Make sure it is stretching your shoulders and way down on your shoulders, okay? Hold this for 15 seconds. Go ahead. And now we're going to be more up against the wall, so very close. We are going to put our left arm out like this, and we're going to turn to the right. Make sure you keep turning till you feel a stretch in your shoulder, and make sure you are not turning out of the way from the wall. Okay, hold this for 15 seconds. Keep turning. And good. Now the other arm, so right arm out, turn to the left, keep turning 15 seconds. And good. Now the last shoulder stretch, you are going to face away from the wall this time. For this one, you have to turn your arms in a way to where your palms are touching. Lift both them up. Try to get your pinkies to touch together. And then try to sit like you're in a chair. Okay, keep sitting till you feel stretch in the shoulders. Hold this one for 20 seconds. You got it? Go ahead. And good. All right. 
now that was some very important stretches for needles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to grab your needle and some helpful tips. So first thing, grabbing and learning how to grab a needle is the important thing and knowing the grips of your needle. So I'm gonna show you how I pull mine and make sure it is on the same leg. So for mine, I put my right arm in a high V. Uh, this is on my left leg. So I bring my left leg up. My left grabs my ankle. I bring it to my right. My right grabs the right side of my ankle. Then my left is gonna flip over to the left side of the ankle. I straighten out and then I pull it towards me like this. Okay, just make sure your left side or your left like hand is not still on the right side of the ankle. You gotta make sure it flips to the other side like that. So that is one way I got my needle. The other way is more helpful to like pull it towards me and like put it on my back. So right and high V, left grabs the ankle, right grabs the ankle. My left arm wraps around my knee just like this. Make sure it's not up here or down like here. Make sure it's right where the knee is strain and I pull like that. Okay, so that is a couple of ways on how to pull your needle. Now a thing you need to know when you're trying to do a needle, make sure you don't you aren't grabbing your foot because you can't straighten like out your leg. Like you you can't I don't know how, but it stops your momentum. So make sure you're not grabbing your foot. Okay, because then you are doing a scorpion and you wonder why your leg isn't straightening out. It's probably because of that. You also don't want to grab right below your foot because it's still not going to straighten out a bunch and it's just going to be harder to pull and it's just pulling you backwards. So make sure if you're ready for the ankle, you're going down to the ankle. Okay. So make sure you're doing that and make sure you know how to pull your needle. That's how I pull my needle. Now, there is not a lot of tips for needles. It's honestly just how you grab it, you know, your grips. Um, you make sure you have all the flexibility, literally on the back, the leg, and the shoulder. Shoulder is very important also um, because whenever you're ready for kick up needles, you wanna make sure your arms can go back far enough because your leg can't do all that work. You wanna make sure your arms can go back and your arms are flexible enough to just wrap around and do whatever they would like to and a needle. So really make sure you do the shoulder stretches that we did a minute ago, okay? But for needle tips, I would say, make sure when you do your needle, you're not leaning too far back because obviously this is pulling me back and I'm gonna fall back just like this. Now, when you do your needle again, make sure you're not leaning forward to drag your leg closer to you because it actually gets you farther away. Look how far away it is from my back. And eventually I'm just gonna fall straight forward. So again, I'm gonna try my needle and I'm gonna stay straight up this time, really keep my core engaged with my hips. And I'm gonna pull up like a string is pulling me up like I'm a muppet, I guess, or a puppet, I'm not sure. But also make sure your chest and your hips are to the side. You know, you don't like really wanna turn it all the way to the front. It's just very awkward and it looks like this and it's just, it makes you wobbly. So keep the hips inside to the side, okay? So those are some tips. Now I'm gonna do my needle on my scent trainer. Now that I have my scent trainer, I'm gonna turn my scent trainer to the side. Make sure your foot is right in the middle. You never want it to be too far forward, backwards, because you're automatically gonna toe or heel. Okay, so right in the middle, put my right arm again in the high V, left grabs the ankle, bring it to my right, flip it over and pull. Make sure your weight is evened out through the middle. Just like that. Now I'm gonna show you my kick up needle, show you what it's supposed to look like. Comment down below if you would like to work on the next video, kick up needle conditioning. Kick up needle conditioning will help you get your leg up higher so you don't have to try so hard by yourself using your arms, back, and your leg, because that's just gonna pull you back. So, um, 
kick up needle conditioning can also help get your airbus higher so it's a win-win just make sure if you want to do that you have ankle weights but comment down below if you'd like to do that next but i'm going to show you my kick of needle so first hips and chest are squared to the side i'm really going to use my leg muscles to kick up my legs super high but also use my shoulder flexibility to put it back so my leg doesn't have to go all the way up there okay then I'm gonna have both hands go on each side of my ankle. And yeah, ready? Just like that. Now I'm just gonna kick it straight up to where I don't have to bend and pull. All right, that's the up needle. Comment down if you'd like to do that next. Now, this is the end of the video. I hope I helped you guys on how to pull your needle and just how to make your needle better by back stretches and shoulder stretches. Next time I will see you with kick up needle conditioning. And yeah, if you guys would like more videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. And make sure if you want to get your stunt trainer, go to www.stunttrainer.com and use my code Brooklyn10 to save. It is definitely worth it. I promise you it has helped me be a better flyer ever. Like, it's, it's helped me a lot. Like, I promise it is worth it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye!